Hey, how's it going guys? For today's video, we're gonna be doing a World Series matchup in ranked seasons. We did change our rotation a bit. We now have Burt, King Felix, We've always had Grinky, we do have Verlander, and we have Kershaw. So our starting rotation has been bolstered up quite a bit, and we also did add Bruce Suter into the bullpen as well. The lineup today, we did do one change. We have Cody Bellinger in right, so our lineup will stack with Willie Mays, Bellinger, Ron Jeremy, Frank Thomas, Duke, Alomar, Hornsby, and Pudge. Hopefully in our game today, we don't get any disconnects, and also hopefully we get one to three new pitchers we got. Of course, I love using Zach Grinky as controls better, but I want to be able to really use out of the three King Felix. His stuff looks amazing. All right, so like I said, this will be a legend matchup. We're playing Lions Baseball 22. He's got Scherzer on the mound. We did get Burt, so we did get one of the new pitchers today. Ricky Henderson, Tony Gwynn, Williams. He's got a decent team. His bottom three, if you're including his pitcher, not the greatest, but we'll see how it goes. So our opponent, unfortunately, chose one of the worst stadiums known to man. I absolutely hate this stadium. I've never had fun here, and I, I don't think I've actually won in this stadium either. All right. First batter gets plunked, and we're actually going to change our PCI up a little bit. I've had some really good success. Instead of using wedge, we're going to use reticle. The reason why I'm using reticle is just because I know it's mental, but for me, it feels like my PCI moves faster, and I feel like I get a better read on the ball. 2-2 the count to Cody. First time back in the lineup, what will he do? Squares one up, and that is why I hate this field. A home run in any other ballpark but it's going to be like a 420 foot line out good square it up oh that that these should have been back-to-back -back jacks again at pretty much any other stadium it's rough so again this is why i hate these stadiums and that's another line oh that's just well i guess the good news is this is a pitcher debut for burt you know, maybe maybe he ends up only giving up one or zero runs because if our opponent squares things up like we have, he's gonna he's gonna have a lot of loud outs. O2, we're gonna try the fastball up and away. Blow it by him for strike three. Good start. Alright, the one thing that I've been told about this card is he has really good control. And for me, that is huge. I have a big tendency to throw a lot of pitches over the plate. So even if the pitcher doesn't have the greatest stuff. If I can avoid the middle of the zone, I'm going to be better off that way. And that's why I did not want to walk him. He's going to steal, and in this stadium, that's bad. But we end up hosing him at second base. We got blessed. We might have just gotten ourselves out of a jam in a bad situation. 0-2, he was actually good timing on that. We're going to go ahead and give him that fastball upstairs. That missed our spot a little bit, but it does blow by him. Let's see if we can get at least one line drive to follow this inning. 3-0, you already know what we usually do. We're just taking it all the way. We're going to read the pitch. We're going to go ahead and time it. And it ends up being ball four, just misses. So we get the first batter on base again in the inning. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. That's not going to do it. We got a little underneath it. Alomar was probably one of the best cards we could have had for this field. He usually hits line drives in front of the outfielders or goes deep. 1-2 the count. If we could find a hole with Hornsby, first and second or second and third will be huge for us, and that is not going to do it. Damn it. All right, Pudge, we need you to find the gap with our pitcher in the nine hole. That is not going to do it either. At least this inning, all our outs were earned. Holy, what the hell was that? All right, Burt is coming up clutch. You already know pitchers who rake. Here we go. Pitches who rake and he smokes it. Oh my god. He ran. The air cost him two runs, especially because he just did that dive. We're gonna go and set 72 speed home. A double for Burt. That is epic. And that's what we needed. I thought for sure that was going to be another line out, but again, pitchers who rake, that nine spot has always come up clutch for me in these types of games. Willie shoots one out to right field as well. But this time, the outfield isn't playing in, so he gets the line out even though he hit in the same exact spot as Burt did. 1-2, we're going to throw that change up low and away. That's a good spot. And even if he hit it 450 feet, with that angle, Willie Mays is going to catch it all day. If I'm being completely honest, I think I would rather play at polo grounds than this stadium. At least polo grounds, that, you know, if you hit it to left or you hit it to right, you're still going to get a home run. But here to left field, it is still about 420 feet. At least right field, if you hit it right down the line, is 272. But I, I don't usually hit it balls that way. I have a lot of righty, so I tend to pull it with them. So far, Burt has been absolutely dominant. He's got a good curveball. He's got the curveball that comes in at like 81. He's got the 12-6 that comes in much slower. 
And so we're going to go and attack him with the 0-2 fastball upstairs. He's late. Jam him up. It's going to be very routine for Hornsby. We're going to get ourselves out of this inning. Let's see if we get some more runs. We're, we're not doing the friendly quit. We have two runs. You chose a terrible field. You can leave, and that's okay, but thank you. Yeah, no way in hell am I accepting a friendly quit. There's no, no, no chance. All right, we're going to go ahead and play another game where, of course, we're going to stop our bar at 900 to make sure the difficulty is played on Legend. That being said, though, this time around, give me Felix. Give me the card that I desperately want to use. He has a 101 mile per hour fastball with a sinker that can top out at 98. I've faced him once, and that sinker, it's like Oral Hershizers where, you know, Oral says 92, but it feels like it's coming in at like 110. Felix says it's 98 and it feels like it's coming in at 130. At least maybe I had some bad disconnection issues or something, but man, I thought that pitch was coming in at light speed. Please work this time. I get the vibe that it's not because it's still taking a long time. What is with the servers today, man? It takes forever to get a game on Legend in the first place. And so now that I keep magically getting disconnected, I'm going to... If it does it again, we're restarting the app. Challenge failed again. Lost connection with opponent. We're going to go ahead and close app and see if uh, hopefully that resets whatever's going on. Looks like resetting the app did the trick. So if you guys are having this issue, maybe that's the way to do it. But So we're playing Kiki27. He's got Verlander. We got Verlander. Another starting pitcher that we just acquired. He's got Itro Frank. Alomar hitting fourth. That's an interesting one. He's got an all-speed team except for like Frank. And even J Kendall and Lindor all have 70 speed. So the only card that he has that does not have speed is Frank. This should be, hopefully he doesn't get on base. So our opponent is 150. Considering his team, I feel like a lot of wins came from him exploiting some cheese with the base run speed. If you consider it cheese or not, that's your call. I know personally I don't steal all the time. That's just me, but nope. No friendlies, dog. So just like last game, we're going to go ahead and switch to reticle over wedge. Like I said, I've been really enjoying this. If you feel like you're in a slump, changing your PCI could always help. Changing your uh, batting view is also another way. And then going back to where you're used to, just giving you a change of perspective to reset your eyes. 3-1 the count to Willie. We're going to get a pitch to hit here. Thinking fastball up and in. Nope. It was the right call, but ends up being ball four. See if Bellinger can do some damage. We were so late on that pitch for whatever reason. That is not the at bat I wanted from Bellinger. One to the count. He's throwing some good pitches. Hopefully he makes a mistake here. And we swung at a terrible pitch. 2-0 the count to Frank. If we hit a bomb with him, that changes the whole outlook of this inning. 3-0 Duke Snyder on deck. We're going to take all the way. See what pitch he gives us. 3-0. He ends up, he didn't give us a fastball down the middle. So next 3-0 I know still to be picky. Duke got a pitch to hit. We were probably just a tad out in front. I know we were all over it. That ends up being a weak fly ball to somewhat deep center. First pitch with Verlander to Itro. We're going to give him the fastball up and away. He's a little late. Actually, he's a little bit more than a little late. He is very late. So we're going to go ahead and throw the next pitch. Four seam up and in. Jam him up. That's exactly what we needed. Anything to keep Itro off the base pass. But like I said, his team is all stacked with speed. Frank is hitting in the two hole. I mean, that's why I was confused when I saw Alomar hitting fourth. Yeah, Frank hitting second. I would completely flip flop those two, but maybe, maybe he was thinking Frank would see more at bats. This could be risky. He was late on the fastball last at bat. We're going to give it to him again. A perfect pitch. Now we're going to give him the cutter away. Hopefully he ends up swinging that. That's going to be a good pitch. He's well out in front. Duke's playing deep, but he's going to come in and make the play. Two down. O2 the account to my opponent's cap. I don't know what stance he's using, but it doesn't matter. He ends up swinging at a terrible pitch. Get ourselves out of the inning. Got a pitch to hit. I think we got a little underneath it. He should be able to catch that. It hung up just a little bit too much. One, two, the count to Mr. Hornsball. Anything that is not that, and that's going to be a base hit. I guess that makes up for... The kind of weak line out we got with Alamore. That, that's just a terrible hit. We need at least a double for Pudge with our pitcher coming up. So that was a great pitch to hit. I'm actually legitimately curious where I missed that. That was right down the middle. The PCI didn't move. Verlander gets underneath one. 2 2 to Alamore. Last time with the lefty up at the dish, he swung at a terrible pitch. We get him to do it again. He repeats it. I don't know. We'll see at what point he finally lays off of it. One, two, the count. We're going to see if the slider away gets him. Gets him out in front on his front foot. We get ourselves another strikeout. Verlander being able to hit 100 on legend is really good because it, it, with the speed differential and his changeup to 84, 
as long as you can locate with him well, he should be a good card. 3-1, especially with Cody Bellinger on deck, we're going to get some to hit. It might be a mistake pitch. Ends up being ball four again, so it starts off the same way the first inning did. A leadoff walk for Willie. Bellinger needs to come through this time. 1-1, one, one, he's pretty quick. I feel like we're going to get a good jump. We tried to do it hit and run. Are we going to get hosed? We did. I tried doing the hook slide. I said you could. Uh, hopefully, you could hear me spamming it. It was just not going to happen. Bellinger shoots one through the hole. Now we could have had first and second, maybe even first and third. Ron gets into that one. There's no mistake in that. That might hit the foul pole, but that is gone. There we go. A 2-0 lead. We finally got some damage. It's unfortunate that we could have been three to zero. Three two to Frank. I don't know what to expect here. I really don't. Get a curveball. I'm pretty sure Frank got all of that one. It could be a deep fly out. Is he going to rob it? No, it ends up being gone for another home run. Pretty sure that was back to back because I already forgot. Duke. Hey, I, we just missed that one. That one's going to hang up for sure. I thought we had ourselves back to back to back. 2 1. We saw two off speed pitches in a row. I'm green lighting the fastball. Got the fastball. We probably got underneath it again. At least this inning, we did get three. We did do some damage. This is the first time I've honestly seen this Jason Kendall card. Not too many people have been using him, even at the start of the game. He's probably really underrated, considering his high contact and high speed, as he might be blooping one in, but they got himself in center field with the ultimate range. 0-2, he was late on the up and in fastball. I'm going right back to it. That should be a money pitch. He's a... He's still a little late. He hits a hard. So far, I like this Verlander card for one simple reason. I've been able to locate with him really well. Like I said, for me, I'll take a pitcher who may not have super electric stuff that's, you know, otherworldly or dominant because I need help, as much help as possible when it comes to my pitching in terms of the control. Here we go, horns ball. Here we go. And that's a line out. All right, well, horns ball lines out. So first pitch of the new inning, we end up lining out. It's unfortunate. But let's see if we could at least get Pudge to do something. I don't think there's a mistake in this time around. He hit a bomb. His last at bat, I, I was hoping that was going to happen. But he redeems himself, goes yard, we're up 4-0. Verlander versus Verlander. Who's going to win? Which one? Our, our Verlander's probably not going to win. I've had two absolutely atrocious swings. But he actually ends up winning. If he throws it to first, we're hosed. We're hosed at first. Yep. Now, so I was, I was still right. We, we should have gotten a hit, but with eight speed, you know, Chubby Cheeks is out. Willie Post Patch has been probably one of my favorite cards. Him and Frank have been absolute animals, and we swing at a terrible pitch. So help me God, nobody with speed is getting on, and that is another routine pop-up for Ichiro. So far, we've held him to zero hits, no runners at all, no walks, no nothing. God, if Frank even just sneezes on the ball, he's going yard but he probably gets himself a little underneath it. Two pitches, two outs. Let's see if we can make it three pitches, three outs. And it's three pitches, three outs, assuming Horn's ball is going to get there. He does. That's the quickest inning I've ever had, and that's the quickest inning you can ever get. Player of the Month, Bellinger, has been much better since the patch as well. Everything he hits is absolutely smoked, just like that one. We didn't get underneath it at all. We perfectly squared it up, so it ends up being a steaming missile to Tony Gwent. 2-1 to Big Schlong Frank. Big Schlong Frank gets into that one. It's either going to be a line drive home run or a line out. It ends up being another line out. I think we've had at least six or seven so far this game, but thankfully we are up 4-0. to zero. So far, Verlander has been absolutely cruising through this game. That's an unintentional dot. Dude, he's so good even when I don't throw good pitches. He's, he's throwing dots for me. One, two. It definitely seems like he's geared up for the fastball. So if we spot this cutter, which we don't. So we get the good luck right back. He lines out for us. One down. All right, an absolute nightmare would be to give up a hit to Ricky Henderson. But no need to worry. Ron Jeremy with the cannon. 0-2. Our opponent is late on everything that is coming inside. So we're going to throw a good fastball upstairs. That jams him up. No worries. Duke is at least a goal defender. He's going to come in and catch that. We're out of the inning. If we can get an inning where we don't consistently line out, we're going to put up some good runs. Dookie Poopy shoots one through. Oh, my God. What a play. Wow. All right, that ends up being ball four. We take it all the way. Will Pudge hit us another jack? Who knows? Pudge is... Dude, he either hits an absolute moonshot or he pisses on it for outs. I might have to look into getting a new catcher like Schwarber or something. Because as Pudge is hitting better than he was pre-patch, 
he, he still just lines out so much. One, two, the count. We have a perfect game still on the line. That would be crazy if Verlander throws a perfect game for his first debut for us. We get ourselves a weak kind of line out jammed hit. I'm just going to keep trusting it. He's still late on the fastball. We're going to come inside. And that ends up being a late hit, dude. If I probably didn't say anything about that no hitter or perfect game, that's going to be a line out. But because I said something, I jinxed it. So our opponent takes out his Justin Verlander to bring up Jose Ramirez. I know he's been downgraded, but if he's up on righties, he's still going to be plenty dangerous. We get ourselves the line out right back. All right, a one hitter is still good. If we can catch that, well, Bellinger and... You know, if we had a better defender, we still have zero runs up on the board, but that's the one downside of using Bellinger. He isn't perfect defensively. We are close to diamond level one, and the person that we will be getting at diamond level one will be Tony Gwynn, and he will be in place of Cody Bellinger. 2-2, two, two, I get the vibe. He, oh God, that's bad. That is bad. Well, we end up giving two runs when if we had Tony Gwynn in the outfield, we're done and out of the inning, but it's now 4-2. Hopefully next inning, the lineouts for us stop and we could get our runs back one two i'm going right back to the trusty slider inside because he keeps swinging at it he swings at it again we get ourselves out of the inning we're gonna go ahead and call it game for justin verlander he did give us six solid innings but we do have suitor in the bullpen and we could debut him a little bit too and we like i said we need the runs it's four two anything can happen so we're gonna bring out adam dunn three one to adam dunn i'm expecting something inside there it is that was a that was a dot Full count to Adam Dunn. Get a fastball down the meat. That is another no doubter. That's why we brought him in. Adam Dunn's an absolute tank as a pinch hitter against the righty. If you don't have him, highly recommend him as a bench bat. Willie gets into one. Is it going to be back to back? That's probably a deep flout. It looked, nope, it ends up being just out of here. Back to back. Every time we are scoring, it is in bunches. Bellinger, oh my God. Wait, is that gone too? No, we didn't get under it enough catches it at the wall damn three two the count to ron is he gonna give osuna the mustache ride please tell me we we held up we held up we get we get ball four i was hoping to to maybe go yard again but here comes frank frank uh, no our runner's not going to second that's another the second out of the inning is another absolute lace ball to center field come on we need i want at least another two runs oh that was a terrible swing and that is going to be a quick out. All right, so here is Bruce. After looking at his stats on Daddy Lee, he has really good control. And again, that is something I'm after. He had 99 control of his splitter. He had 92 control on the fastball. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 78 on the slider. So 2-2. Two, two, I'm going to try and surprise him again with the fastball upstairs. His fastball is pretty sneaky. Snuck it in. And thank God that is foul. All right, 2-2. Two, two. We got the Nile as a terrible pitch. Terrible, terrible pitch. But our outfield is quick, and that is not going to be an issue for Dookie Poopy. Two down. For our opponent, who seems to be relatively late on most pitches, I get the vibe that Suter is not the card that I would usually bring out against this opponent. But again, I just want to try him. I want to see how effective his stuff is. And for the most part, other than two pitches so far this inning, I've controlled him really well. All right, slide piece away. That should be a good pitch. He's well out front. He was geared up for the fastball. We, we got him trained for it. So that's three outs. We get ourselves out of the inning. We welcome him with a kind of crappy base it up the middle. But considering the lineups we've had, I'll take anything. I don't care if I'm late, early, on top, underneath. I think we deserve it now. Horns ball. Smokes one through by the shortstop. We got first and second. No outs. I'm going to be pretty disappointed if we don't get ourselves at least another two runs. Pudge versus a lefty. No line out. You've lined out twice and hit a tank. And that's going to be... It's gonna be down. Where are we? Why? Why? Why are we held up? What? What? What is going on? I, I knew that was down before. Apparently, the runners. At least it's not a line out. Base is juiced. We're gonna go ahead and take out Suter. He had one good inning. We're gonna save him for another game, maybe later in the future. He's got a righty on, so we're gonna go Agon. He's probably gonna bring out a lefty, and then we're gonna match it with Aaron. Oh God, never mind. All right, my dumbass thought he had a righty on the mound, so we did bring out Agon, which would have been lefty lefty, and he sucks at it. A network error has occurred. If I end up getting another loss. That would be two on the day. So I really hope this time around I don't get the loss. But I really get the vibe that, um, yeah, we got the loss. So loss number two on the day ends up being another disconnect. These server issues, I, I don't get it. Every year, SDS has something with their servers for like a week. 
where they just suck let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have been struggling with this kind of stuff because i've seen it on my twitter feed that some people have and some people said they haven't ran into it like i said this is the second one for me today i was playing master flip earlier before i started recording was up five to zero got a disconnect this time around was up six to two or yeah six to two and we got ourselves another disconnect loss I'm losing rating and I'm not even losing. I guess thank you for watching today's video. We're going to go ahead and call it there. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You guys have a good day and I hope you guys have better luck than I do when it comes to uh, all this, this shenanigans that's going on. Peace out.